Traders, it's Anthony here. What I want to do with this video is show you how these trade signals have been performing. We're going to run through this list of currency pairs we have here. And we're going to focus on this blue section of the chart. This blue line that you see here is the London Open. And we're coming in about an hour prior to the London Open. And uh, the blue line finishes at the Asia close. So this is the time period we're going to focus on. The uh, alerts that uh, we receive happen uh, here in the alerts log. Now we just click that. Look at all these trade opportunities. It's an easy process. We just click on them. It opens in the chart and we see what opportunity is available. So I'll just uh, come back here. We'll start with the uh, dolly end down the bottom. We'll just work our way up. And we're having a look at the very last London open that occurred on, on the charts. Okay, so if we look back, I'm using a, a three minute chart up the top and a five minute chart underneath. Now I will flip this little toggle up here and that will give us these additional layouts. Okay, symbol crosshair selected, two chart layout and we'll go to a three chart layout as well. Reset the chart and on here, probably go with a one hour time frame and I'll explain why in the videos. We're going to be referring to these historical yellow, orange, and the white, not just the dotted lines. We've also got these lines here as well. Same colors. These are institutional levels. Yellow is a daily. Orange is the weekly. White is the monthly. So they'll come into play. And you can see up here on this three minute chart, we've got a yellow line. We've got a, an orange line here. So daily, weekly. And throughout the video, I'll explain the strategy. So what we're waiting for is the alert to fire in the alerts log. It brings us into the chart. As I mentioned, we're looking through this period here. Okay, so we see this red dot. We take this trade. If we have uh, the majority of these bars that you see under are red. And we're looking at this on the three minute chart and the five minute down here. So given that we've got a red bar here and the majority of these red, we take this trade short. Come in around the uh, level of the, the dot anywhere between the candle body and the wick and we're looking for the pullback retrace and there's your trade now we're going to be looking for these lines we've got a yellow line here that's a daily level and we have this orange line so i'm going to place my stop loss it's fairly tight but i want to place it slightly above that and i'm going to take 70 percent at one to one risk reward and then if you want to you can pull your stop loss down to be in the money and trail the rest but that becomes a winning trade as soon as we take our 70 percent out so let's just run through dollar swissy in fact what i'll do i'll just mark that green as a winning trade and we'll see how many winners and losers we get all right so we're looking for the green opportunity here it is green it's a winning trade come back here we've got the same signal on the five minute as well three minute signals are a bit faster dollar cad again we're just looking through this blue zone here or leading into the blue zone, we get the green dot. There's a trade. Got it on the five minute. We take it because we have green bars underneath. So we're only going to go with the same color. Okay. Green bars, we look for the green dot. Another winning trade, US 30. The bars are predominantly red. We're looking for a red signal. And there it is. Sell. US 100. We've got mixed signals here. So we don't take this. Okay. We've got a green bar. But the majority of these guys down here are red. So don't touch it. Kiwi dollar. We're looking for a red signal, given that the bars under predominantly red. These are higher time frame trends. We didn't get a signal on this one. I mean, it's bearish. We can see that. But we only come into the chart when the signal fires. So unless you're clicking through these, uh, we wouldn't have had that opportunity. So Kiwi yen. Okay, we're looking for a red opportunity. We can see how this was definitely a winning trade if we received a signal at the top here now we would have had one on a one minute chart the one minute is going to give you a lot more signals it's faster so you may or may not want to venture into a 1m it's going to be so many opportunities i'm inclined to just go with the signals so kiwi swiss bit of a mixed bag this one there's no signal but see how we've got this red bar and the majority of these guys down here well the majority of these are green 50 percent here are green and red it's a mixed signal i wouldn't take it 
in any case, we didn't see the dot. Let's keep it simple. There's no technical analysis, KiwiCAD. Again, there's a nice bearish trend here. If we'd received the signal, we would have come into this chart and uh, been able to take this opportunity. Pound dollar. We're looking for a red signal. Given that the bars are red, here's our trade. Okay, stop loss above this orange line is a weekly, so we'll go with that. Yellow line is a daily, TP above. One to one risk reward, I'll take 70%. I want you to watch the last video I did, the one prior to this one, uh, because I go into risk management and how important that is. We don't look at the lot size, we look at position size in terms of percent of the account. And I explained that in the previous video to this. So we'll mark that up as a winner. So we haven't had any losing trades yet. So that's a 7 out of 7 win rate so far. Pound uh, Kiwi. We're looking for a green signal. Well, we didn't get one. We may have seen the signal on the one minute chart down here. But I mean, we're getting a bit of a mixed signal here. We've got this green bar and these guys mainly red. And down here, 50%. This three minute chart being a lower time frame causes this indicator to only give us the one hour two hour and four hour because it's a lower time frame the five minute chart you can see there's more bars showing here there's four bars a 15 minute chart and you'll see five bars in any case this is not a setup we just stick to the rules keep it really simple that's a pound kiwi pound yen okay we're looking for a red opportunity through the blue zone here sell Another winning trade pound Swiss. It's a mixed bag here. We don't take it. Very simple rules. This is green. These are red. Stay out of it. This indicator here tells us that the four hour and the daily have strong bullish momentum. And yes, you can, I mean, you can see that. Uh, but this indicator down here is telling us that the higher time frames predominantly are trading bearish. So if it's mixed, we just stay out of it needs to be a really clear signal pound cad we're looking for a red opportunity through the blue zone well okay that could be our first not such a great trade so i'm going to mark that red that's a loser so out of the last nine uh, we've got an eight out of nine win rate let's have a look at the pound oz we're looking for the green signal again this would have fired on a one minute chart but you can see how powerful these indicators are Obviously bullish there, but uh, we didn't see the signal fire, so we let it go. Euro dollar. We're looking for red opportunity. There it is. If you don't see these lines, like this white, yellow, orange lines on these two charts, on this chart and this chart, we can come into this one and go back historically and pull these through to give us a bit of a reference point. So some of these historical levels here don't transfer onto the current time period, if that makes any sense. But uh, this one, short position right there, winning trade. Okay, so that's a, a 9 out of 10 win rate so far. Euro dollar, same thing. Euro Kiwi, we're looking for, well, we've got a bit of a mixed signal here. A mix of green and red, it's not valid, so we leave it alone, euro, yen. We're looking for the red signal. Interestingly, there was an opportunity. In fact, what I'll do, I'll just go down to a two chart so you can see this more clearly. Five minute under. This would have definitely given us a, uh, a signal on the one minute chart. The one minute is much faster, okay? But we didn't see the signal on the three or the five, so we just let it go. Well, it wouldn't have brought us into the chart, so we, we're dependent on the signals that fire over here to bring us into the chart. So guys, I would say to you, you can see where we're going with this. We've got a 90% win rate with these trades. What have we got here? Here's the thing too. I know our period starts from here, but we've got a red dot. We've got this red bar kicking off here. We've got all these red lines. This is a bearish divergence lines. You may or may not consider taking this. We would have had a, uh, a dot right here on the one minute. But given all of this going on and that, and you can see it losing momentum, that may have been a trade that you could have taken. Red and 50% on these, that is okay. In any case, we didn't see the signal here, so let it go. Euro CAD, we're looking for a red signal. They don't always fire. We didn't see one, so we'll let it go. Euro uh, Oz, we're looking for green. And I mean, look, seriously, let's just go back one. Do you want to bring in the one minute chart? It's a bit fast and, uh, you know, you will see more signals. Okay, but here we are on the one minute charts. This is what I'm talking about, see? So it's up to you. More opportunities. 
But here's our signal here on the one minute. And we've got a go ahead with our indicators. All right, so I mean, you can see it's a pretty high win rate. I would invite you to jump on board, guys. Go to my website, tradingwithanthony.com. Click on the links there and you'll see the store link on the menu. This is a coffee and cake once a month. I'll let you do the math. And uh, you know, there's other options if you want to give this a shot. Anyway, coming back over here, Euro was. And the other thing with this is you can trade this on TradingView or MT4, it's up to you. But you can trade it directly on TradingView and I'm going to recommend Pepperstone. We're looking for green. I'm gonna recommend Pepperstone on TradingView, why? Have a look at the link below and check out the Refer a Friend program where they will pay you up to $5,000. They've already paid me, they still pay me. Our members are being paid by Pepperstone. All right, the link is below, check it out. Now you can click down here on the trading, go into the list and you'll see, here we are, Pepperstone. You can connect your Pepperstone. This will be a, a C Trader Pepperstone account and away you go. And you can trade this directly through trading view so we're looking for green opportunities see we've got that here on the one minute you know so you'll find that there are more opportunities here on the lower time frame i don't know is there 12 11 out of 12 win rates so i mean what you can do you can set up a three chart layout do it this way and uh go a five underneath three minute in the middle and if you've got a big screen i mean it's going to be easy to uh to do this so this is your one minute chart on, on the, um, the top level here. There's your signal. In fact, there's another one right there. There's your uh, yellow weekly, okay? Stop loss above that. All right, so you've got your s signals here firing on five and three minute, and it's just a matter of clicking on this and it'll open up these three charts, the one minute, the three and the five. Let's give it a 90% win rate and then the Aussie CAD. So, I mean, you can see this will definitely change your life if you take advantage of these alerts you trade this well back test it like i'm doing here you know there's a win rate it's a high win rate set your rules and it's just a matter of practice you'll you'll notice these lines on the chart you know you'll get used to reading the information that's on here get your risk management right watch my previous video as i explain that in detail in fact, if you search my YouTube channel for risk, the word risk, I've done another couple of videos on risk management, so I think it's really important that will make or break you. You don't want to be jumping into these trades with a whole variety of different lot sizes. That will be your undoing. Get your risk management sorted and be a winning trader. Start off with tiny lot sizes or tiny position sizes. You see that it's working, then you start to increase. Okay, guys. That's it. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Share the video with anybody you think might uh, benefit. Share it on Twitter X, whatever it is now. Get the word out. This is helping a lot of people already. And uh, jump on board. Join me on this journey. So with that, hope you have a great day. Safe trading and we'll see you in the next video.